For more Palantir news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Six years from now, the International Space Station will be no more. Plans are underway to retire the International Space Station in the year 2030 and to deorbit the space station, ensuring it burns up in the atmosphere. But there's no need to worry. While the countdown to the International Space Station's end is ticking, the coalition of companies working on a new International Space Station to replace it is expanding rapidly. This initiative, established by privately held Star Lab, with support from Northrop Grumman, Hilton Hotels, and Airbus, has nearly doubled in size in recent months. Japan's Mitsubishi, Canada's MDA Space, and most recently, America's Palantir Technologies have joined the effort. Jeffrey Seiler reported in June that Star Lab is bringing Palantir on board to predict the maintenance needs of its new space station, which is scheduled to launch in the year 2028, and to use data modeling to enhance Star Lab's operations across the enterprise. This partnership looks promising. Building the original International Space Station cost over $100 billion, and operating it costs the National Aeronautics and Space Administration approximately $3 billion annually. Unfortunately, Star Lab's press release announcing Palantir's participation didn't address this, suggesting that Palantir's role will be more akin to a subcontractor than a true partner in the venture, even though the company is described as a strategic partner. Without further evidence, investors might view Palantir's involvement less as a true partner, with a financial stake in the ventures to success and more like Coca-Cola being named the official soft drink of the 2024 Summer Olympics. In other words, Palantir will likely profit from Star Lab, but its addition to the team probably doesn't make Star Lab the most likely replacement for the International Space Station. It's worth noting that despite Star Lab dominating the headlines recently, it's not the only contender in the race to replace the International Space Station. Three other teams of companies or individual companies are competing with Star Lab for the opportunity. These include the ambitious Axiom Space, which has been discussing the creation of a private space station the longest, and the innovative Vast space. Meanwhile, Star Lab's most formidable competition likely comes from another billionaire, Jeff Bezos, who is backing an ambitious project called Orbital Reef with his substantial financial resources and his Blue Origin space company. With Sierra Space, Redwire, and Boeing also involved, Orbital Reef arguably commands the greatest financial power aside from Star Lab, making it at least the second most likely company to successfully complete a private space station project. In that regard, in March, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration announced that the Orbital Reef project passed a significant milestone into testing the life support system it plans to install on its space station. So which of these four teams is most likely to build a replacement for the International Space Station? Despite Palantir's incremental contribution, I firmly believe that the Star Lab team has the most momentum and the hundreds of billions in annual revenue commanded by its backers give it the best chance of success. Even if I'm mistaken, the fantastic news for investors is that with so many publicly traded stocks involved in this effort across multiple teams, whoever does end up building a new space station, the chances are very good that you'll have the opportunity to invest in that winner. In the end, the International Space Station is set to retire in the year 2030. Star Lab, backed by Northrop Grumman, Hilton Hotels, Airbus, and others, leads the effort to create a new space station. Palantir Technologies has joined it to enhance operational efficiency through data modeling. The high costs of of the original International Space Station prompt questions about Palantir's financial commitment. Star Lab faces competition from Axiom Space, Vast Space, and Jeff Bezos Orbital Reef, with significant financial backing making Star Lab the front runner. For more videos on Palantir, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.